Hi, uh, this tutorial is about how to fix uh, big headers. Okay, uh, we have a report and we have a lot of columns. And the problem we have now is that uh, the column headers are so big, there, there is a bunch of columns with lots of text on it. So, uh, you can see now that it doesn't fit on one page and it looks very bad indeed. And uh, what we're going to, to, to do in this tutorial is to make it fit on one page. So, how is the trick? The first thing you need to do is to try to change the, the, the page orientation. This is very easy. If you, if you run your report on PDF uh, format, it can be done, but in this case, it's not enough. I mean, even if you switch to landscape, it, it still looks very bad. So, what should you do now? Wait, what you should do now is, uh, instead of leave uh, the, the whole text, try to make abbreviations. In, in this case it's going to be just the year or the quarter. So for each column we are going to change uh, the header so it's going to be only quarters or years. And later we're going to group the, the headers of course. Okay, now we finish. I think this is the last one. Okay, so we have only quarters and years on the header. So now we run a report again and it should fit Okay, here it is. It fits very well in one page. Okay, so now what we're going to do is select the list, the whole list, and change the way it, uh, it displays the headers. The column titles should be at the start of details, and you should create a header. Now you have one row at the beginning of the list where you can put more text. So you remove the, the default text, you select the row, and you split for cells. And you can see, now you have one row, and you have all the cells aligned with the second row, which left us room for, uh, for more text, okay? <coughs> now we're going to drag and drop all the columns to make it sense, because they are already very dispersed. Now we're going to okay. We're going to group all the sales, now the contributions, and at, at last all the growths. Okay, so okay, that's it. Now we select the cell, and we are going to to put some text on it. We have to lock up first, and now we we type sales, and now we merge the sales for every column we have in this case. You just have to do the opposite. Instead of split, you just merge. And you just uh, select uh, the format uh, which will be center for, for, for the text. And we should do the same with contribution and with growth. It's very easy actually. Even if you format uh, this report and then you export to PDF, you will be very, very nice. And if you do to Excel format, it would look very well indeed. So we're done almost. Uh, we just need uh, to merge this one. Uh, select uh, the right format for the cell. Okay. Now we can see our again our report. Now it looks very well. Now what happens with the, the first row? If you can see, the format is not as good as the second one. That's because we need to select another style. We're going to select the same style we have on the second row. So we look for in the Cognos uh, styles. Uh, we select it, and now it looks better, even better than, it, than it, what it was. And that's it. That's a trick. Now, if, uh, I'm not cheating, so if uh, we can we can run the report again uh, with with a different page orientation, with the original, with which was uh, portrait, and it should feel also. Okay. Okay, there you are, and that's the trick. Thanks for watching.